Hi, and welcome to the third of the series tutorials on collecting and visualizing urban informatics and modeling data. This tutorial will teach you two ways on how to add 3D buildings and apply data styling to them in Mapbox. Once you've navigated to the Mapbox website, select Start Mapping for Free. Then by selecting the arrow next to the icon, select Studios, and New Style. The first way to do this is by selecting a blank template and customize blank. As it's a blank template, we'll need to add everything in manually ourselves. By navigating to Layers and adding a new layer, under Source, selecting a source being Mapbox Street V8, and a list will appear with everything you can bring into the map. Selecting water, as you can see, it automatically brings it into the map. By changing the style, you can go into color and change the color of the water. Repeating that step and adding another layer, we can then add the place label, changing the type from circle to symbol, so it's text rather than a circle field. Changing the style, insert data field, and locating the name option. You can then change the color, the font, and the size. Using the search tab, type in your designated area, and the map will zoom you in there. As you can see, the place labels we've just made now appear on the map. To add roads, following the same steps, styles, and again changing the colour. You can do this as many or as little times as you like to represent the best map for your data. To add the 3D buildings in, following the same steps, but selecting buildings, then type and changing fill to fill extrusion, which is a 3D polygon. If we zoom in, you'll begin to see the 2D outline of the buildings show. Going into style and selecting style across data range, select height 0 to 1500. As you can see, the data range is flat. So that we can do a 0 to 1500 in height, select done, leaving the first point at 0 and the second at 1500, changing the fill height to 1500 and selecting done. You can then change the colour and the opacity to whatever you like. Now if we use our pitch, you will then see the 3D buildings appear in the map as you navigate through. The second way to do this is instead of selecting the blank template, select a monochrome or any of the other ones that are shown here. Selecting monochrome and light option. Customize monochrome. This will import a map that's already been created. So as we've done before by adding the water, the roads and the labels, they will already be shown in this map along with the buildings themselves. So first, using the search bar to navigate to an area and then zooming into that area, you'll be able to begin to see everything we previously added in the last one is already here. As you can see, the buildings are also shown as well. To simply turn the buildings from a 2D flat image to 3D, under your Components tab, select Buildings, 3D Buildings, and change the toggle to On. This will instantly update on the map. 
we use our pitch and toggle through. As you can see, it's already representing the 3D buildings. Now to change the colors, opacity and edit the buildings, select any of them, select layers, and then select the building extrusion. This will take us to the layer option we were previously in where we set the heights. Now as the heights are already done for us, we can go straight to color and select override. Same thing with opacity and select override. Changing the opacity to whichever. Now with the colors, I want to show different colors for different heights to represent the buildings. So saying it's zero, I'm going to keep one as white. Select a style across data range, then height. Now as we want to represent it in increments of height, we'll keep the first one at zero, which is our base. Selecting done. And then add another stop. Selecting the height is 750. You can then change the color or the height if you wish to, to whichever you like. And the map will update as you do this. I'm done. You can repeat this step as many times as you like. So we had 750, we can change this one to 1000. Done. Change the color. And then done. And then we can do 1200. And then the final one we can do 1201. So that just means everything above the 1200 mark will be as the one color. We can make that more of a red. And then done.